All right. So today we have Dharmesh with us, who recently got placed into the analytics department, and we will ask questions to Dharmesh and let us try to learn from his experience. Right. So welcome, Dharmesh. Uh, first of all, I would want you to, uh, if you can introduce yourself to the uh, audience, that what is your educational background or in which uh, company you are working, what is your profile and what is your experience, right? That will help them. Thank you, Rakshit, for having me. Hello, everyone. My name is Dharmesh Suthar. I have pursued mechanical engineering from Navrasna University, located at uh, Vadodara, Gujarat. And after that, I joined one firm and then completed my apprenticeship at uh, Hindustan Petroleum. And uh, while I was uh, completing my apprenticeship at uh, HPCL, I enrolled in the job art learning program where I started learning the uh, basics of uh, analytics in data domain. Uh, started learning Excel, then went to advanced Excel like PBA, macro and all, uh, advanced formulas and all. Then the I recently completed Python, got um, five star in hacker rent as well. Okay, so sorry and, to disturb you, Dharmesh. I mean, it's fine. Just can you just also tell how did you get the apprenticeship and what was the work over there? Was it related to mechanical department, mechanical domain? Yes, yes, it was, it was purely mechanical. Okay, so you were you were having apprenticeship. How did you got that apprenticeship? So it's offered by government of India through Net Portal. You have to enroll in the Net Portal, and uh, the, if there are opportunities uh, like listed over there. You can apply and uh, then they ask for an interview. And uh, if you qualify for that, then you get selected. It's a one year program, which is offered by the government to give fresher some experience in the domain, which they want to pursue their career in the future. Okay. And once you complete one year, is there any chance for full-time opportunity as well after this apprenticeship? No, no. It's like, a, like there is get like for PSUs. Hmm. Same for, it's a PSU only, but they conduct their own examination for the for placements regular. for hmm. regular jobs. Hmm. So then you wanted to switch into analytical analytical space and then you started learning, right? So yes, yes. right now, which company you are working for? So it's a retail appraisal company located in Surat, Gujarat. Okay. Uh, it's called Limudi Fashion or uh, also known as Satrani Fashion. It has okay. uh, it uh, is a retailer of uh, fashion clothes of a Got woman. All over the platforms like uh, Flipkart, Miso, uh, Amazon, Agio, mm. Cloudtel, you name it, and they have enrolled in every platforms and they have their own website and the B2B sell as well. Also, they are selling in B2B as well, apart from B2C, and uh, they have got uh, some good uh, sales in last two to three years in this domain. Okay. So what kind of work you do over there and how did you got selected into that? Where did you apply? How was your interview? So I created my profile in Nokri platform and mm -hmm. I got call from them only. I didn't apply particularly in this, uh, in this role. I got call from them and mm -hmm. I got, uh, let's give an interview. I'll have experience. I didn't expect it much, just, uh, went there and gave the interview. So the they asked me what was your past experience and all. Though I mentioned that uh, I was doing my apprenticeship, but I also mentioned that uh, over there, I was analyzing some data related mm. to what work I was doing. And uh, due to, I can, well, I was able to show that uh, I have some experience in analytics and I was doing some work related to this. So then they took my technical interview. It was basically some advanced Excel, like uh, pivoting, 
macro vba and all it, it was around half an hour i had to create a one sales report from the data it was around a 6 to 7 70k rows data and the whole month sales data which i was provided and i i had to uh, make one summary out of it and create a range for the their sales data from the sales data for the uh, cost of the product according to i have to segregate and then give the insights of the sales data to the managers got so it, it was, so everything you were doing on excel right so the skills that you would recommend from this i think is pivot table or i would say that uh, dashboarding skills visualization skills on excel right yeah yeah mostly the, what they are using is that excel only they and apart from that the sql part but i haven't uh, touched upon if, if there is uh, one senior guy who is looking after all that, like uh, data extraction from the uh, their portal and uh, got it what? so this is done using sql is it yes yes sql so probably yes. you will also need to upskill yourself right if you yes. i think so right now what yes. what skill set you have like i have i know the excel very well mm-hmm. and uh, i have completed python and uh, have done three to four projects on it and uh, yeah and uh, in this course we have to complete five projects to go after like to have sql knowledge so i am currently doing my projects and working mm-hmm. on them to get uh, Mm. so it, i think it is not necessary that first of all you need to learn everything and then you need to apply for job if you learn let's say excel sql also then you can start applying for job and parallelly i think you can upgrade yourself into power power bi tableau python or whatever it is right uh, there are way way much tools to learn from you can't learn everything right so mm. some two to three basic tools can work for you like it depend upon the company to company which tool they prefer but if you have some whatever you learn you if you have expertise or you you learn them till advanced level that can work very well okay that's okay. what i think mm. so right now you are on the way to pursue your sql and you know business intelligence tool the next target will be to pursue yeah, that yeah. Mm, okay yes all right so any advice you would want to give so if since you are from mechanical background and you have switched your career into the analytics domain and when you will spend more time and when you will switch let's say for the next companies you will get again more into the core analytical domains as well over there so what kind of suggestion you have or final piece of advice you have for the students who are looking to build their career or want to switch their career into the analytics domain uh, i feel like uh, look for the skill set and uh, i i am majorly sure we can start we can start from excel i think because excel is something which i feel is very important and a lot of companies are asking it along with advanced tools like you know python sql but we can start with excel right yes, yes. excel is the must tool to learn your basics should be clear uh, mm. all about excel so you can so got it all right all right so thank you so much excel. excel is a must as your recommendation okay so thank you so much dharmesh for being a part of this this will definitely help the uh, students and the viewers over there right so thank you so much